Welcome to Taking a Walk, an excursion to converse, connect, and catch up at a cool location with some of the most interesting people you can find. Here's Buzz Knight. Taking a walk and finding joy in the moment is a treasure to not take for granted. It's the sight, the sounds, the people watching that all contribute to the experience. It can be the mindful moment of head-clearing solitude or the time well spent with an old friend. Either can be a thing of beauty. I'm Buzz Knight, and on this episode of Take It a Walk, my guest is my buddy Vinny O'Neill, founder of Vinco Properties and also co-founder of Wicked Dog Apparel. We're in Boston on Newbury Street as we're taking a walk. So, Vinny, what happened on the parking ticket as we start the Taking a Walk podcast? Well, double parked on Newbury Street is never a good thing when the meter maid's around. So I think that was $75 to $125, although she was very nice and apologized. And uh, I wish I got to know them better, but they switch. They rotate the meter maids by neighborhood, so you can't charm them. You can't charm a meter maid. That is the most shocking uh, revelation on this podcast that I think I've ever heard. Well, it's not that I can't charm them. It's that I can't find them. <laughs> you know, if I can find them, I can charm them. That's the problem. They keep them moving. So They're slippery little buggers like turrets. <laughs> so roughly, how much income do you provide the city of Boston with your uh, your various parking tickets? Oh, 5000 a year at least. Really? Yeah. And um, I know the guy who does the boot taking off by on a first name basis. Can as you, soon as I answer, he goes, Vinny. <laughs> is that a business deduction? Uh, <laughs> officially? <laughs> do I find a way to make it one? Yes. Sorry. This, <laughs> I would think so. I, I've try, I don't know, actually. I give it to my accountants. I have them try and figure it out. I would think so, yes. I'll take that as a yes. yes. And I pay my employees parking tickets, too. So we're taking a walk on Newbury Street uh, with... Um, the one and only Vinny O'Neill, but he goes by many names now. He's a man of, of multiple names, Skinny Vinny being one of them. Yeah, Skinny Vinny has been with me for a long time. And then off of Skinny Vinny, you have the great Skinchenzo. Uh, you've got Skin Diesel. Um, then there's like Grinny, because I had bad teeth. They used to call me Grinny. <laughs> Grinny Vinny. <laughs> Grinderella. All right. <laughs> Vinderella. <laughs> It goes on and on. I like them all. Do they evolve over time depending yeah, on the person? Yeah, of course. Well, like uh, for my daughter, her new nickname is Bootsy, but she was Lam Lam Cherry Lam Lam. My, my boys are Lump and Bobo D or Balakas. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. I have nicknames. And in fact, I was at a funeral this week because you said it may have been a Philly thing. But I went to school in D.C. and we were at the bar with like 20 people and everyone's like, Hey, what's, and I didn't know my buddy I already just last time. I'm like, what's your first name? Like, I don't even know the guy whose funeral it was. His dad, his name is Fitzy. I've known, I knew him 20 years before I even knew he had a first name. So, I, you know, you just get to nicknames and you forget what people's real identity is. Yeah, that's uh, been something I've lived with uh, from oh, my Bobby entire K, life. Bobby K, the killer. Come on. Many names. <laughs> uh, some of it witness protection related. So uh, let's go through the, the Bobby K nicknames. Well... So we go back in time, and uh, when we were, this isn't about me. This is about you, uh, and this is about taking a walk on nice uh, Newbury <laughs> Street with Vinny O'Neill. Now, one of the great things about taking a walk uh, is, you know, people watching, don't you Absolutely. think? Absolutely. That- in the city? It's yeah. the great, I mean, top ten reasons to live in any city is to uh, people watch. We, I was in New York this past weekend. Oh, at Pastiche, by the way. Great restaurant in New York. Event. I could sit there and watch people all day long. It's the best. It's the best. There's nothing like it. So is that your favorite part of, of uh, taking a walk on uh, Newbury Street is the people watch? Or Yes. In multiple, there's many degrees of people watching. But yes, indeed, people watching is my favorite thing in part of Newbury. And, I mean, this Newbury in particular and any other street I prefer to walk down is beautiful. I mean... Yeah, it is, it is one of the great uh, the great cities, one of the Some great streets. Some people the whole life won't walk down a street like this, and we get to do it every day. It's amazing. Yeah, I, I just, you know, don't take this for granted at all. And no. I, t- I, I sort of look at this, too. And look, you know, taking a walk can be clearing your head and having your own solitude, and that can be, you know, uh, extremely helpful. But on the other hand, taking a walk with a friend and just uh, shooting the breeze is also one of the great things. The other great thing is 
you never know what's going to happen. The serendipitous of life. You know, I, I was, as a matter of fact, do you want to go? Yeah, we're going. Uh, I was in Manhattan on Saturday night, and my girlfriend and I are going to a restaurant, and we make a wrong turn. And so I'm on the phone, like, trying to figure it out, and I literally, like, walk, if he didn't see me, right into a buddy of mine who I haven't seen, and he's like, in lower Manhattan, out of nowhere, just randomly, and then he's like, hey, we're having a party. We all got his house, place is rocking, this beautiful vibe. It's like, just yep. serendipitous. Like, yep. I try and live my life, I call it the cosmos, or just, like, there's this, whatever you want to call it, you know, religion, and there's a force field that connects everybody, and just... The older I get, shut off the brain, let yourself go in the cosmos, and let it take you where it's going. You know what I mean? I, and I think that's the joy of, of walking. That's oh. the joy of where you live or where you go to visit and Definitely. just sort of, you know, just hang out. And, yeah, I consider myself very grateful for that, you know. And, and also, by the way, the neighborhoods and the little, you know, hangouts, oh. I mean, where we first met... Uh, is a place called Sansi on Newbury Street. Best bar in Boston. And what's amazing about that is that's a community of, of a bunch of people that all right, With no prior connection, and in some regards, no seemable connection. Right. That you would say, like, oh, of course they'll be friends. Yeah. That's, okay. that, that's the amazing part. That uh, I explain that to people, and they, they, they think they've... Some of them have never had that... Uh, that opportunity and that ever, camaraderie, right? ever, 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 and, and and you know they they sort of listen to this going. That's pretty incredible. So yeah, so that's how Vinny and I first met, and now it takes us to where Vinny is today. Well, with, taking a walk. Sorry to interrupt, but to me, it's a metaphor for life. It's like get out in the world. You know, you know, however you do. And so many people today's world, in particular, a the COVID stuff, which has been beat to death. So we're not even going that. But like. People text. They're right. They're getting out and mixing it up and feel, touch, taste the world around you, you know, and it leads to great things. That's right. Living, breathing. Yeah, it leads to happiness. It leads to opportunity. It leads to success. Yep. Uh -uh. So so you have a, a, a realty business called uh, Vinco. Vinco right? Properties, yes. Yeah. We, uh, we are commercial developers. We do office, retail, uh, biotech, and apartments. So, Vinny, as we're, as we're taking a walk on Newbury Street, let's talk about uh, a couple of your businesses there. First of all, sure. you have v Vinco Properties, right? Correct. Commercial real estate developers. We do office, biotech, retail, apartments, and warehouse. And okay. then we have Wicked Dog Apparel, which uh, we started a few years back, my college roommate and I, um, really with the original thought that Boston needed and lacked cool up-and-coming brands and that Boston is such a great city and in itself a brand that we really tried to wrap Boston and Wicked Dog in one and our we like making great feeling comfortable good-looking clothes for people and uh, we believe you know Boston needs that brand we are that brand and we want to take Boston in the world because we think everyone's got a little wicked in them I love that and how's business going these days great great we've uh, you know we started as an online retailer and then doing pop-ups all over the city at festivals and this and that and now we've recently moved into uh two brick and mortar locations uh uh that will be in through the holidays one in uh, watertown mass at arsenal yards one at 170 newberry street and then for christmas we're opening the seaport uh in their pop-up locations so by christmas we'll be in three of the hottest locations to be in the area so things are what things are good and the brand's growing and our thought for the brand and it's more a byproduct of how I've done any of my businesses. We're, I'm a grassroots guy, person to person. That's how we're selling our brand, and we're coming right up from underneath. Grassroots, people to people. And it's really catching on, so we're very excited. And don't leave out the uh, great work that you guys do as far as helping charities as well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We do a lot of work with uh, Christopher's Haven, which provides uh, housing for Families with children with cancer being treated in Boston where they can stay with their whole family for long term. Various dog charities and clinics. Yeah, we believe in giving back. Uh, all sorts of sports programs. Charlestown basketball, South End baseball. Um, so, yeah, we're big on giving back. Hyper local. Hyper local. Hyper local, but with an international yes. 
goal, I guess is the word. Yeah, to dominate the world. Yes. And you are. And you are. <laughs> well, so Vinny, so as we wrap up, I wanted to just ask you, you mentioned New York, walking in, in New York, and, oh, uh, and how great that is. Um, so where do you start just some of your other favorite places, whether it be in New York or in Boston, to go well, take I mean, a walk? Well, Boston, right at the bottom of our street, you know, the Boston Garden is spectacular, not the, the arena. Pub, the public the garden, garden yeah. part, I mean, oh not the God, arena, yeah. right. It's spe- and I live here and drive by, but I only get in, and I've tried to say to myself, you don't even got 10 minutes, pull over, walk through. It is the best. Spectacular. Yep. Walking, you were walking the North End. Oh, yeah. Spectacular. And the Greenway. The Rose County Greenway. I mean, you think about when we, when I moved here, that was some ugly looking crappy looking highway and now there's fountains and there's shows and yeah. there's artwork and there's yeah and you can see the north end and the and the city uh fabulous i'll tell you the other cool walk there's one that goes along the water down the financial district you know oh, here we are. you know like um i don't know what they call it but it's like on the water and you go along by like the boston seaport hotel yes. not the seaport the boston harbor hotel great that's another great spot they do those outdoor movies um, and then sort of the neighborhoods, the South End, beautiful to walk through on a Sunday afternoon, hit brunch. I mean, Boston's a great walking city. New York, Central Park, oh. any of the neighborhoods. We were down in Meatpacking, West Village, just, and, and, and New England in general, or the Northeast, the best, we, the best weather, you can guarantee weather in September, October. It's the best time to be out and about in the yeah. city, and it's alive, and people are back. So uh, I'll tell you, the Arboretum, another great walk here. I don't know if you've ever gone yes. out there. It's beautiful. Yep. Beautiful. I've been taking a couple of dates there, actually. <laughs> Beacon Hill, too. One oh, of Beacon one. Hill, Charles Street. Yeah. Oh, not only that, Charles Street. Then you got to see Uncle Wayne, and then you start, You can bottom out of Charles Street, go to Liberty, have a cocktail. and You know what I mean? It's yeah. really cool. Oh, it's great. That whole street. Actually, I tell people, you start at the Liberty and come up Charles, right across the garden up Newbury, like if they're visiting, you know, or the other way around, do that loop and then come back around the, uh, you know, even the uh, the common's cool, not as nice as the garden, but beautiful walk. Well, Vinny, thanks for taking a walk with me, so great to spend Bobby time with Bobby K., brother. always a pleasure, right. my friend, anytime. All right. Taking a Walk with Buzz Knight is available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.